Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick get ready with me. I don't have any makeup on right now. I don't really have any classes going on today. Usually I have placement. I'm a special education major, but I don't have placement today, so I have no classes. So I've had the day off, which has been really nice. I'm just going to do a quick get ready with me. I'm going out to a friend's birthday dinner in a little bit, and then I have class um, at night around 6.30. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, everybody, so now that I've zoomed you in a little bit, um, like I said, I'm going to a friend's birthday dinner in a little bit, around 5, and then I have class after that, so I am going to get um, a little bit ready, just I figured, while well, I don't have class today, I might as well film a video for you guys, even though this day is so gloomy, all I want to do is just lay in bed, I figured why not make a video, so to start off, I'm going to be using, I already used my Pixie Glow Tonic Toner. And I've also moisturized my face with the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator. And it is a gel cream. So I use that moisturizer to um, just act as my... I use my moisturizer to act as a primer. Now that I've went ahead and like moisturized my face and everything, I'm going to go ahead and go in with foundation first. Um, before I do my eye look, I'm currently wearing nothing other than that. Uh, toner and moisturizer so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with foundation and today I'm gonna be using the wet n wild photo focus foundation in the shade nude ivory you can get this at Walmart or just your local drugstore I'll make sure that I link every product down in the description box below like I did for the last video um, if you haven't seen that one check it out but the wet n wild photo focus foundation retails for anywhere between like four dollars and six dollars um, you can get it at Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, any type of store like that. I think you can also get this at Ulta, so check that out. I'm going to apply that by just taking the wand like this and making a few strips of face. And I think throughout this Get Ready With Me, I'm not really going to be explaining how I'm doing my makeup. I will mention the products to you guys, um, but I really just want to get ready and kind of talk about some other things so I'm assuming that most people watching this are from Oxford or are at Miami University where I am right now or are back from my hometown in Cincinnati um, but I'm assuming the weather is like this all around those areas but it has been so gloomy here the past three days and I am just so over it. And it's not fun, especially when you have to walk everywhere you're going. You have to walk to all of your classes. And I am not about that anymore. One day it was like, fine, sure, we need some rain. But after three days of wearing a rain jacket and rain boots, I'm just very, very over it. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more right here. And like I was saying before, I'm an education major, so special education major here at Miami University. And so for my program, we have placements. So we go into the schools and um, we work with kids and at different ages. So I'll be licensed um, from K through 12. So we get to go into different schools, work with different kids with disabilities and in the general education classroom as well. And it's so exciting. So usually I have placement every Tuesday and Thursday. So every Tuesday and Thursday I wake up at like 5 45 uh, leave by 6 30 and I go to school all day and then I come home and get home around 3 or so and then I have class at night but usually Tuesday and Thursdays I am in school and you know very busy but this week the school that I'm at has spring break so I've had Tuesdays and Thursdays pretty much off with the exception of my night class which has been so nice, so nice. I've been able to get a lot of work done and film videos and it's been really exciting. Next, after my foundation is done, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 20. If you are looking for a really good concealer, I definitely recommend this one. ColourPop actually just came out with, I wanna say 40 shades, which is awesome. A lot of foundations and um, Concealer shade ranges that have been coming out recently are like really slacking in the shade range department But ColourPop just came out with a 40 shade range of their $6 concealers So you can get that at ColourPop.com. 
I think that's awesome. They're coming out with such a great shade range. I'm just gonna take this under my eyes. And then I'll just blend this out with my sponge. As I was saying before, I'm going out here in a little bit for a friend's birthday dinner. I'm so excited. I'm like one of the youngest out of all my friends, so I don't turn 21 until June. But it's exciting seeing all my friends turn 21, and it's crazy to think I only have like a year and a half, not even a year and a half, a year of college left, and, and a year from now I'll be student teaching. It's crazy to think about, but... Next I'm gonna go in with my Cody Airspun powder. I literally just picked this up at Walmart, but I've heard great things about it, so I'm gonna try it out. Get this up. I got it at Walmart, um, and it was about like six bucks, but it comes with like a nice big velour puff if you wanna like set your whole face, which I think I might. So I'm just gonna put that, put a little bit in the cap. Now I'm gonna take that on the velour puff and just Lightly set. And I'm really gonna make sure that I get in my smile lines because like I mentioned before, smile lines are terrible. They're always collecting all of my product. Now that I've done that, I'm excited to see if I end up liking this product. Um, I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk about it and it seems pretty good and it's affordable, so who can complain about that? But I just really don't want my makeup moving tonight um, when I go out to this dinner and to class afterwards, so we'll see if I like that. But so far, I like it. It's pretty Next, I'm gonna go in with my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade 3. I got this at Ulta um, and it is around I want to say $27. I'm also seeing that this is like $24, so maybe $24, not $27. $24 around there. Another good one is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown, but recently I've been using the My Precisely, Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. But I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows really quickly. So now that my brows are done, I'll go ahead and do highlight, bronzer, and blush. And I like to do my highlight first, so first I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Lunch Money. And I love these because they last forever. Um, and it's just like, they're kind of like, not putty, but they have that like cooling texture to them. So I just like swirl my finger around in it, grab some on my finger, and then apply to my cheek. I just use my finger for this. And I'll also put some above my brow bone, my chin. And then after I apply that, I like to take a different finger and kind of smooth it out. Then I'm gonna go in with bronzer, and for that I'm using the ColourPop Pressed Powder Face. So I actually don't see a shade on this ColourPop Compact, but um, it's just a pressed powder face bronzer, so I'm just going to go in with my Morphe brush, tap off the excess, and I like to start off very high and like lightly go down. I'm so excited that it's Thursday. I'm actually um, going home this weekend for Easter to celebrate with my family, even though I was just home a week ago for spring break. I'm really excited to go back home and spend Easter with them. I think Whitney and I might do an Easter vlog, so stay tuned for that. That should be fun. I'm also going to house sit with my boyfriend on Saturday. His name is Nick. Hopefully you guys will meet him soon, but we are going to house sit, so that should be fun. And right now I'm just using my Milani powder blush in the shade Tea Rose. So 
I'm super excited for a fun weekend. Okay, so now that I have applied all of my base makeup, I'm going to start on my eyes. By starting with my eyes, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm just gonna grab like a tiny bit of that. I kind of took some of my concealer up into my eyelid space, but I'm gonna use a little bit of this. Okay, so starting off with my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go into the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. Um, if you guys don't know who that is, she is a beauty guru here on YouTube. And this is the Cat's Pajamas palette she came out with. She's actually coming out with some more stuff here soon, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna use the shade Okie Dokie in her palette. This one right here. Um, it's just a very like white shade that I like to lay, lay down first for like a nice base so that I can blend my eyeshadow nicely. I also have very veiny eyes, so like I like to cover up that veiny like discoloration. I think this shade is like pretty good for that. Now that I went in with that um, light shade from the Laura Lee palette, I think I'm gonna do just like a neutral brown, pretty natural look today. So I'm gonna go in um, Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe, and I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna use these shades, mix them together, and just sweep that across my crease in the transition area and I'm just using a ColourPop brush for that. I really don't want to go too overboard with this look. I want it to be pretty natural. So I feel like starting this YouTube channel, um, to be honest, it was something I was really nervous about but um, I've watched YouTube for a while now and I love doing makeup and it's something I'm like really into and I figured, you know, why not do this? And my boyfriend was actually really, really supportive and, you know, saying, Court, you should just do it. Like, you'd have so much fun. You know, I really think you should just go for it. So, you know, Whitney and I have started this, and I'm so excited for you guys to start seeing her videos soon because she's really excited. She's just still in a little bit of pain from her surgery, but um, we're really excited to share this with you guys. And it's so fun when people like come up to me in person. And they're like, "Oh my gosh, I've been watching your videos." Or like, um, they. People, my, some of my friends text me and they'll be like, I watched your video, it was so good. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I had no idea what I was doing. I was so scared and nervous, but um, just exciting to have people like supporting. Next, I'm gonna go in with a more dense brush and use this shade from the palette. It's right here. Just kind of like a deeper brown. I'm just gonna take that right lower into the crease. Then I'm gonna go back in with the other brush into that lighter shade and just make sure everything is blended. Now I'm going to use the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Um, it's an ultra metallic shadow in the shade Heine. This was a Laura Lee collaboration and it's, ju it's just a like, um, kind of like rusty pink shade. It's really pretty, so. I'm just gonna put that in the center of my eye. Kind of had a lot of fallout. Um, it was a lot more glittery than I remember, so I'm just going to take a small brush and dust that off. I'm actually going to go back in with a shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and just take that a little bit all over the center as well. And I feel like all of, although that is like shimmer, um, it's not a ton and it's like a neutral shade, so not too, too much. Okay, that is all for the top of my eyes. Now I'm gonna go into the lower lash line. I actually am gonna go back in in the top and just use a deeper shade of brown for that too. In the lowest part of the crease. Okay, so now I am done with the eyes. Lastly, I'm just going to add the brightest shade in the palette, these two. I'm gonna add those together and make that my inner corner shade. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of that shade as well to my highlight, as well as to my brow. Okay, and on most days I don't wear eyeliner, so I'm not gonna apply eyeliner today. I'm actually just gonna go in with my Lash Paradise Mascara, which I included, I think, in some of my last videos. 
completely aware I just got that on my lid, of course. Okay, I got that mascara off my eyelid, thank God. Um, I'm lastly just gonna put on some, a lip product. I'm going to use the ColourPop. This honestly sounds like a ColourPop sponsored video, but obviously why would I be sponsored? I'm just a ColourPop freak. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Blotted Lip in the shade Ice Cube. I love this product. I carry this product with me in my purse like literally everywhere I go because it's almost like, I don't know if you can see that, but it just adds a little bit of color to your lips and if you don't press like intensely, you can get the lightest wash of color and it's so beautiful. And then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Cranberry Biscotti. BLG24. I love this because it stays on all night long, even when you're eating. Okay, actually, this is the last step. I thought the lip was the last step, but I actually, when I was getting that Cody Air Spun, that Cody Air Spun, oh my god, Cody Air Spun face powder, um, when I was at Walmart, I got the Milani Make It Dewy. Oh my god, don't mind me just fumbling with this packaging. Um, the Milani Make It Make It Dewy <laughs> setting spray. And it says to give this a good shake. <sighs> what a nice mist. That literally felt like, I, I don't even know how to describe that. And then I use my palette just to fan it out. And this is it guys, this is the final look. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out. I figured this would just be a fun video so you guys could see how I do my makeup without, you know, going into full detail of how I am explaining everything. Even though I basically still explained everything. But this is it. This is just like a simple, simple eye look with a fun lip. And so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for Whitney's upcoming video, finally making her debut, or maybe she's already putting it up by the time this video is going out, but stay tuned. We're so excited to have you guys and we really appreciate you watching our videos. Leave comments um, in the comment section below if you wanna see something specific from us. Hopefully we'll start doing um, maybe like a ColourPop video soon. Um, if you guys wanna see more hair tutorials, an eye tutorial, anything you wanna see, Leave it in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Bye. This powder actually smells really good too. It's kind of weird, but um so um 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 so that was really